This feels very special to be in front of this extraordinary painting by Rubens, which is about to travel all around the world in the run-up to the sale. And first impressions for me are that it's really quite substantial. It's extremely wide and actually quite tall as well. Part of the power of the painting comes out of the way that Rubens has transformed his sources, because shortly before he painted this, he'd spent several years in Italy, where he had become very familiar with great art collections, and he was obsessively drawing and sketching ancient sculptures. But the point for me about this is the way that he transforms those sources into something that's really spectacular and quite spellbinding. But that sense of power comes about from the actual story that we see, because this is a very intense, edgy picture for Rubens to have painted at all. It's dramatising this biblical story of Lot, the man, the father we see on the left, and his two daughters. And in essence, what's happened is that they've been forced to flee Sodom after it's been destroyed. And in the end, Lot and his two daughters find themselves up in some mountain cave. And the daughters fear that what's happened is essentially the end of the world. And we plunge right into the middle of the story. This scene, if you don't know anything about the story, yeah. one thing you can say for sure is that it's clearly a seduction scene, isn't it? Yes. But there's a bit of a twist. Indeed. His daughters have the realisation that their father is the only male left and they are keen that the human race is continued and they decide that they need to get their father drunk and that they need to lie with him. However, they're doing so under extreme circumstances. They're doing it with the very, very best intentions. This is an essentially virtuous act. It's a selfless act. One of the things that I love about this is if you look at all of those expressions, mm. there's tremendous psychological complexity, I think. It, Absolutely. It feels like we're getting inside their head. Lot is clearly already quite drunk. Yes. Is he conscious of the fact that these are his daughters, or is he just thinking these could be any ladies who seem to be seducing him? I well, mean, the Bible suggests the latter. It suggests that he really wasn't aware of the actual act. The expression of the daughter that is still dressed, her job at the moment is to focus on getting her father drunk. And it's her sister who I think is almost trying to distract herself by concentrating on pouring the wine. It completely tallies with the way that Rubens has painted her face. You almost feel as though that wine jug yeah, is slightly shaking, shaking. Yeah. don't you think? Yeah. You see a tremendous array of tones within the flesh yes, that create a sense of... Yes, wonderful modulations. Yeah. Um, that's the modelling coming through. And there are wonderful passages of impasto that's, that's still intact. So this is when he's laying the paint on in quite thick brush strokes so that if you were to run your fingers across the canvas, you could actually feel the raised paint. If you look closely, there are all of these different hues and tones, a sense of light and dark, some areas of almost bluey green, the shadow of creases and folds, all of which build up to create this very powerfully modelled, contoured surface, so that there's, everywhere you look, something animating the painting, something to involve the eye. It gives the whole painting this sensuous quality. You spend any time with this picture, it quickly becomes apparent that one of the richest aspects of it is that great sense of psychological complexity within each of those characters that makes it feel quite grand and substantial and makes it the masterpiece that it clearly is. <laughs>